Yo, what's going on guys? Dark here. I'm back in another video and I have a Halo 3 video for you guys today. And I'm on Halo 3 mainly because... Wait, hold on. Before before that, let's listen to my squeaky chair. Like, listen. Like, listen to that. Like, I may need to get a new one in the future or something like that. But, it's like every time I move, I hear like a squeak. But, um, I'm doing a live commentary and I love doing these live comps because, you know, it feels a lot more natural to me. Like, I just like talk and play and like, I don't know. It just feels so much more natural. And I can just like just talk normally it feels like instead of like sound like a robot oh he's here like I don't know this feels a little bit more natural but I still like making normal commentaries both are really fun to do but you know live commentaries I prefer to do those actually so I'm on Halo 3 right now sitting in a lobby and as you guys as you guys can see freaking almost like stuttered right there hard um you know I'm just sitting here I have a 50 in Halo 3 that was my biggest accomplishment in all of gaming to be honest with you guys general in Halo 3 was the hardest thing I've ever had to do in gaming um it was so frustrating just trying to get like, not frustrating trying to get better, like, knowing that I was improving and stuff like that, but I really had bad luck, like, getting a 50, like, I had really bad teammates at points, and, you know, it's really not my teammates, but, I like, D-rankers and stuff like that, and even with bad teammates, you can still find a way to win the game on Halo 3, especially if they're on the same skill as you, and they weren't necessarily bad, you know, there's, you know, there could have been more that I could have done to help them, I could have just been leaving them in battles and stuff like that, so, um, yeah, that was, like, my biggest accomplishment. And let's look at my file share real quick, guys. Um, the Phantom 169. This is my old friend on Xbox Live. I found like the picture again. I remember when he made this in uh, Forge. We were all going crazy. We were like, we were like 12 at a time, something like that. So I'm sorry if you guys can hear my Xbox 360. It's pretty old. It's a slim version I got like in 2010. So it actually is like six years old. Holy crap. But um, yeah, my old Xbox 2. It got the red ring, but it got fixed. So that one's pretty old also. But yeah, I remember when my friend made that in file share. Game chat. This is why you listen to call outs. I remember, uh, this, no, I remember this picture made me laugh. I put it in my file share. Uh, I made this one like two years ago. Holy crap, 2014. Um, Rasinga, if you guys watch Naruto, shout out to that. You guys will understand that picture. Um, ninja. My friend made this. He ninja me back in the day. He didn't really even ninja me. Like, he just sorted me, and I guess he thought, and then it counted as assassination. And I'm the one wearing Hayabusa in this picture. He's one of Recon. He had it, like, a little bit before me, and I was so jealous of him. Uh, Peekaboo. I remember we, it should be, like, in a garbage can. Yes, it is. And I think I'm the Master Chief in that garbage can in that picture. And look at the date, guys. July 26, 2009. Um, I got Xbox Live, my first ever account, in May 8th, 2009. So, two months after I got Xbox. Um, the Iron Giant Superman. <laughs> I remember that picture. So a lot of these are from my friend Red Asian Fire. Uh, my friend James. Shout out to you, James, if you're watching this video. Um, but yeah, that's my file share in Halo 3. I wish they had like bungee favorites so I could like extend it and more stuff. But yeah, that's pretty much it. And as you guys can see, I have like 800, roughly 900 games played or ever on this game. Pretty good win percentage. I think I have like a 70% win percentage in this game. So I'm just going to start up this um, free-for-all gameplay. You guys have never seen it on my channel. It's like a 25 and 10. So I'm just going through the theater. Like, I'm honestly just not going to, like, play through the gameplay. I'm just kind of honestly show you guys what I do when I go to theater. A lot of the times, I just, like, look at my armor and look at the angles of gunfights and stuff like that. So that's what I'm pretty much going to do. I'll probably just fast-forward through some parts, too. But um, if I have to stop and say something about the game, I'll do it. So it's like a free-for-all gameplay, I think. Like, I was a 46 or 47 at this point. I'm still, like, a 47 in Lone Wolves. If you guys want to see, like, a series of me trying to get a 50, um, leave a comment down below, because I think I can now in this game. Um, but, you know, this video is not about the gameplay, really. Um, so as you guys can see, it's Halo 3, like I've been saying. And Halo 3 Anniversary, a lot of people have been talking about this, like, oh, we're going to get a Halo 3 Anniversary, are we going to get one, and stuff like that. And here are my opinions, and this is what I think should happen. Um, I feel like 343 should not... Make a 3-4, not make a 3-4, three, three, Halo 3 Anniversary. Simply because I feel like the game looks good enough as it is, in my opinion. I feel like it doesn't need a reboot. Like, in my opinion, these graphics right here are, like, perfect. In my opinion, these are the best video game graphics that I've ever played on. I'm not saying, like, you're the best, like, looking. I'm not saying it's perfect. But in terms of, like, like, in terms of being, like, rebooted and stuff like that, like, it really... I think it's fine. I think Halo 3 is perfect, in my opinion, like, every way, besides, like, the connection sometimes online, but, like, this, the gun models, everything just looks so good to me, in my opinion. It's not so good that it's, like, crazy, like, crazy graphics. It's not so bad that it's unplayable, or, I don't know. I feel like the gameplay of this game really makes up for whatever graphical things may even happen to it, so, 
um, obviously, like, Halo 2 also. I feel like that didn't even need, like, a graphics overall. They could have just ported the old Halo 2, but they went above and beyond and remade, you know, like, it in the Halo 4 engine and stuff like that. So, um, I feel like Halo 3 does not need, like, a graphical overhaul. I think it looks good enough as it is. And we wouldn't even be getting all the maps anyways. It would be, like, a few remastered ones, obviously. So, the thing I'd rather have them do is just port Halo 3 to the Xbox One, and I know a lot of people are going to say, what are you talking about? They have MCC Master Chief Collection and stuff like that. Um, I know they have Master Chief Collection and stuff like that, uh, but for some reason, Halo 3 on that game, I don't know, it's alright, but like you can't mix and match armors, you can't, like, it's, it's kind of limited, you know, like, it feels like I'm just playing MCC for kills, you know, like, like there's a ranking system obviously in MCC, but the ranking system's really not that good, like, you'll rank up what is it one time every 10 games and stuff like that and i feel like it'll get people go like get people a chance to go back on halo 3 try getting their 50s you know try getting more experience on their 50s and stuff like that instead of just leaving this game to die um in my opinion it's like i think 343 should just work on halo 6 and work on the future of the halos and try bringing back this or try bringing this game to xbox one backwards compatibility because i know i'll be on this game no matter what and they need to make as long as the backwards compatibility is good, like, um, for Halo Reach, they kind of had a bit of a framing issue, and they still kind of do, which they're going to fix in the future, they said, so, um, that was a film melee right there by me. So, I feel like the frames just need to be a little bit smoother, like they were on 360. Um, it's really not that hard to get used to. I feel like 30 frames to 60 frames kind of can be jarring, but going to 60 to 30, it's a little bit jarring at first, but you get used to it, and I think it's a little bit easier to get used to the, than vice versa. I don't know what I was just saying, right? That was going crazy. <laughs> but, um... Yeah, I feel like they should make make it backwards compatible and stuff like that, and, you know, that's really what I want. I know people are going to say, you have on MCC and stuff like that, but, like I said, I just want, like, the true Halo 3 back, you know. I want, like, to get experience and stuff. I want to have a file share and stuff like that, and I want, you know, just for the OG Halo 3 to be there, because I feel like the uh, MCC Halo 3 just feels different. Like, I don't know if it's the frames or anything like that, but... It just feels different to me, and I know a lot of people on the forums have been saying Halo 3 on MCC feels different, the games on MCC just feel different in general, so I don't know, that's really, really what I would want to see, because I know uh, Microsoft and stuff, I'm sure they're still marketing MCC, they're still selling MCC, which I feel like that game is still not really finished yet in my honest opinion, but I feel like Halo 3 is a truly finished game, and I'd rather have them just bring it back than having like a broken version of MCC that's matchmaking is really bad and stuff like that. And I'd rather have just a true version where matchmaking is reliable and stuff like that. And I feel like the population would shoot up if they announced this game was going backwards compatible. Because, you know, I feel like a lot of people will start playing it again. They'll be like, oh man, Halo 3, this game is sick. And if it felt exactly, you know, if it feels exactly as it does on the 360, I feel like a lot more people are going to stay hooked on this game again. Um, you know, I feel like if people play this game, Again, again, they're like, wow, this game is really good. I forgot how good it really was and stuff like that. Because in my opinion, Halo 3 really is the best Halo. Or people could have the opposite of reaction of saying, um, oh, man, this game sucks. It wasn't as good as I remember. But pretty much everyone I know that goes back and plays this game, they say, wow, it's a lot better than I thought it was. Or it's just as good as I remembered it. So, hold on, real quick. Let's just, this guy got destroyed real quick. I remember I got so hyped. Um, I feel kind of sorry for him. So right here, I'm just charging him. Hit him with that shotgun shell. Hit him with that movement. That frosty movement. Hitting him with the cover. And I jump out again. He didn't anticipate that one. He just starts. He's going crazy. He doesn't know what's going on. And I get a melee. That was so hyped in that battle. And also, guys, you guys may wonder why I always wear like all red armor and like nothing. Like just default armor. Uh, back when I first got Xbox Live on Halo 3, I went with all red armor. I didn't have this number 3 emblem yet. Um, I literally just had like a red emblem. It was like nothing there. So, I think my first ever emblem, which I got probably like a few, like a week later, when I actually joined this team called, not team, but clan called Omega Clan. It was me and my friend. Shout out to my friend Blurry if you're watching this too. Blurry Hayabusa and like Pigs Must Fly. It was like old gamer tags of my own, old friends and stuff like that. And yeah, um, this was like my first ever emblem. We had to pick like a gold number. And three was my favorite number. And I picked it. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. So. That's why my emblem's that. So I never, you know, I never forgot my roots, man. I never forgot my roots. So, oh, that's good. That's why I rocked that emblem. It's pretty sick, in my opinion. I like that emblem. Pretty sick triple kill right there. Give him that nasty out oh, BR, dude. Let's go. But yeah, um, that's pretty much my thoughts on it, guys. Like, Halo 3, 
backwards cap compatibility. I don't really want to remaster it, to be honest with you guys. And I don't think 343 is going to do one, to be honest. Uh, it's so hard to tell this far out. I mean, maybe by, like, you know, when it gets closer to next year, we can kind of tell by the way they're tweeting. I don't know. Maybe they'll announce it, like, early or something. I don't know. But I just feel like right now they're work working on Halo 5. And I feel like Halo 5 still needs to have a few more updates for it to be fully completed. I feel like we need King of the Hill. We need Oddball. There's a few games I was missing, like Juggernaut and all this stuff. And, um, you know, I feel like they need to work on Halo 5 a little bit more. Plus, they need to work on Halo 6 and make sure those content issues do not happen again with that game. So, also, I just feel like... I, don't know, I feel like Halo 3 is remastering all that and wasting time and effort on that. Sure, it'll bring a lot of money in, but I feel like a lot of people would remember what happened in MCC and stuff like that. And, you know, it would they would make a lot of money. And it would make a lot of sense to make a remastered version, but personally, I just want to see them put as much work as they can into the next Halo. Make it as great as it could be at launch. At launch. Just make it amazing. And then, you know, so you don't have to worry about anything else after that. But I personally don't really want to Halo 3 anniversary. This game is fine as it is to me. I really... I mean, even if they added graphical enhancements, I feel like it wouldn't be that much more amazing for me personally. I feel like just the gameplay is so solid in this game. I don't really even want the graphics better. I just kind of want them as they are, to be honest. But that's just my opinion on it, guys. You know, I know a lot of people are going to have different opinions than me. Especially in the Halo community. I mean, we just need to respect our opinions. I'm going to start going back to what I used to say in my older videos. Just respect you guys' opinion, Like, our opinions as, you know, people who make videos and stuff like that. And respect people's opinions who... You know, I kind of got destroyed right there. Respect people's opinion to, like, just have a... People who have a different opinion than you, just respect it and acknowledge it. Maybe you can learn something new from their opinion. So, that's pretty much my thoughts on it. Uh, yeah, and host migration. But I feel like, you know, Halo 3 is my favorite game of all time. I just don't want to see the game, like, ruined by... Like, they have glitches or errors or something like that. Or I don't want to see, like, them putting in, like, barely any resources in the MCC or Halo 3 anniversary. And then it kind of gets, like, MCC was and stuff like that. So... I really don't want to see that happen in this game, um, especially when I think it's the pinnacle of what Halo ever was, and, you know, I'm not saying it ever... Okay, dude. My freaking phone again. Dude, why did they call in the middle of the videos? Like, just stop. Who is it? Who is it? Okay, like, whatever. Okay, chill with the phone calling. But, uh, yeah, um... Uh, that's pretty much it, like, I just... I don't, I don't even know what I was talking about, I just, like, lost my spot. But yeah, um, uh, that's just my opinion on it, guys. Just leave your opinion down below what you guys think Halo 3 should be. You know, what it should be like a year from now. I think, I, I just think they should do it now, honestly. Just make it backwards compatible, and that's all I want. And I'll be happy, and I'll be glad. I could, I could play Halo 3 on Xbox One. And if the 360 servers um, shut down or whatever, I could still play the OG one and get my experience in this game. Because I do want to get like a 1,000 experience on this game. I have like 650. So I may start playing it a little bit more, but I, I just really went on Xbox One, so I don't have to switch consoles and stuff like that. And yeah, that guy got destroyed for the ending. So yep, that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed. That was a long video, like 17 minutes. Not 17 minutes. Um, I don't even know how long it was, honestly, guys. But that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video a lot more. I really feel a lot more natural in just making these type of videos and stuff like that. Hear me leaning back in my chair, how comfortable I am, but... Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Drop that Xbox 360 controller. But I'm out, guys. Peace.